Hey guys, Alex here from MovieBuzz.com bringing you my next video review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Michael Gondry's new film, The Green Hornet, starring Seth Rogen, Jay Cho, Tom Wilkinson, Cameron Diaz, and the Oscar winner, Christoph Waltz. Now the film, which if you don't know anything about The Green Hornet, it's about a superhero uh, played by Seth Rogen. He plays Brett Reed, the son of a uh, media... Giant, I guess you should say. Uh, his father created the Daily Sentinel, which is the largest private newspaper in the country. And his father dies one day, and this rich playboy who's always, you know, getting into some sort of mischief, making the tabloids, now has to decide how to get his life together, even though he hated his father. He was an asshole. And he ends up meeting J. Cho, who was his father's coffee maker and uh, mechanic. And the two kind of hit it off and decide one day that, hey, let's go, uh, let's go do something stupid. So they become this duo. Uh, he becomes the Green Hornet and Kato becomes the unknown sidekick. And there were two things, though, that happened when I went into this movie, or what I decided before I saw this movie. One, I thought it was going to suck. And two, I thought it should be called Kato Kicks Ass or J. Cho's First American Movie because J. Cho is the shit, first off. He started in Curse of the Golden Flower. He's a mega star in Taiwan and mainland China and just a really popular figure outside of the United States. And I knew that, you know, Kato is the martial arts guy. He's the one that creates all the cool gadgets, including the Black Beauty, which is their vehicle, which has beautiful, you know, dual machine gun turrets and flamethrowers, etc. You did that? We've been completely... And so, and he also brought in a lot of comic relief. Seth Rogen was pretty funny as Brett Reed, but Kato, because he had, you know, a heavy accent, every time he cursed, it was really funny. I want you to take my hand, and I want you to come with me on this adventure. I'll go with you, but I don't want to touch you. Okay, you don't have to take my hand, but will you come with me on this adventure? Okay. Yes. So, but overall, the movie didn't suck as much as I thought it would. Michael Gondry did a good job uh, bringing back comedy. His last film, I think, was... Uh, be Kind Rewind, and that was a nice little indie indie flick. But this was actually a lot of fun, and I can't put it on par with Scott Pilgrim, but it's at that level of entertainment where you're, you're not going to go in for anything, you know, plot-wise. You're going to go in to just have a good time. And Seth Rogen was able to deliver the, you know, a lot of funny lines in his, hurrah, I'm Seth Rogen kind of voice. And But it was really Checho, and even Christoph Waltz was really funny in it. He had that same type of character that he had in Inglorious Bastards where he wanted people to like him and almost see him, except in uh, Inglorious Bastards, they wanted him to be like this rational good guy, whereas in here, the Green Hornet, he was this trying to be a rational bad guy. So it ended up working out really well. Uh, overall, I did enjoy the Green Hornet. I thought it was a lot of fun, a lot of ass kicking, a lot of explosions. Uh, Kato is the man. If he's gonna, if you're gonna see the movie for one reason, watch it for him. The the film I saw, you know, it was an unfinished print. There was no 3D conversion, which made me really happy. But overall, it looked like it was pretty much complete. So if you get a chance, I'd definitely go check out the Green Hornet in January. Uh, I think it comes out on the 14th. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, if you like what you see, check out more on my channel. This is Alex from MovieBuzzers.com signing out.